children with and without disabilities from around the world. When I grow up, I want to be a pilot. I want to become a medical doctor. In the future, I want to be a gymnastics coach. I'd like to become a teacher. Ambitions and abilities. Every child has them. And every child is entitled to equal opportunity to realize their full potential. So say the Convention on the Rights of the Child and the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. But the hard truth is that millions of children with disabilities are deprived of opportunity. Children with disabilities are among the least likely to get an education, to be employed as adults, to start their own families, and they are among the most likely to live in poverty. Efforts to include these excluded children have been impeded by a shortage of sound data on the lives of children with disabilities and those who care for them. Animation illustrates the following concepts. In the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, the world's governments call for reliable data that go beyond averages to ensure that no one is left behind. Solid data on which to act and with which to measure progress. Those data are now within reach. In the past, data collection efforts relied on stigmatizing labels and diagnoses. Over the past five years, UNICEF and the Washington Group on Disability Statistics have developed a new way of gathering information on child functioning and disability. Mothers or caregivers are asked questions that explore children's actual experiences and the difficulties that they encounter in performing daily activities. The questions can be incorporated into existing data collection efforts. They take into account the fact that children develop and learn at different speeds and that the experience of disability changes as children grow. And they address the need for nationally comparable and internationally harmonized data. Images of data collection efforts. Many have contributed to this work in the spirit of partnership. From national governments and statistical offices to disabled persons organizations, researchers and families. The international community has a shared vision of a just an equitable world, a world in which every girl and boy enjoys the same rights and opportunities, a world where no child is left behind. Building that world will take many hands, but now we have a key with which to unlock the knowledge that makes progress possible and societies inclusive. Let's use it. List of acknowledgements, including individuals, groups, and organizations. Full list can be found at data.unicef.org. UNICEF logo. Count Me In initiative logo. To learn more about the Child Functioning Module, visit data.unicef.org.